1452 here with you. How are you folks? You know, I've just been riding for a while and not, not vlogging and and I, I happened to drive by this pizza place that uh, I've never been to before and uh, working on being a lot healthier so it doesn't make me want to go have pizza. But what it did do, and I've been thinking about including this in um, in some future vlogs, is you know an out to lunch or an out to dinner with Mrs. Bodine type vlog. And I, earlier I drove by, and you didn't see it on the video, a restaurant that we always drive by, and it's always busy, and we always say we got to stop there. So we're gonna do that, but it it, it came to um, it made me think about restaurants and and family time and going out and whether you're going out to have a beer with some buddies or your spouse or significant other or, or, or whatever. Is I really got two things. Number one is, come on, let's start the debate. Who has the best pizza in the world? Now, I'm some guy. I'm a guy that lived. In Chicago for five years I don't care if you're talking about New York City I don't care if you're talking about Italy I don't care where you're talking about there is pizza in New York I mean in Chicago <laughs> that must have been a fupa because that's not the case I've had pizza in New York City and it's awesome in Chicago like three places in Chicago that is really super good pizza but the best by far it's called Lou Malnati's pizza it is so good, I'm gonna look it up and show it to you. Look. See? See that on the screen? It is awesome. By the way, you can order and have it sent to your house frozen. Trust me, it's worth it. Deep dish, it's really, really bad for you. And you can eat maybe one piece of it, maybe two. But man, it is so, so good. So, Lou Malnati's, that's number one. And I'm going to Chicago in March because my daughter has what's called a pinning ceremony uh, she's in nursing school right now while working uh, continuing to work at a hospital real proud of her so she has this uh, little pinning ceremony that's where you start going into where you're doing clinical stuff I guess and Orvis can you help me understand that so I got that right um, anyway she um, so I'm gonna do that when I go to Chicago so pizza 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 but what is your favorite restaurant? Do you have a go-to place where you like to go with by yourself, with your spouse, significant other, that you is it's your go-to place. You gotta have it. And even though you like trying out different places, yet a place you gotta it's your go-to place, man. It could be a bar just for a beer or a drink. But let me know in the comment sections. Do you have a go-to place number one? How, how often do you really go there, right? Why is it your go-to place? And then, as important, come on, what's the best pizza in the world? What is the best pizza? And, uh, and then, maybe I'll have a contest. You know, everybody does this, you get so many subscribers, you, you win something. Or I, you know, I've never, I never believed in that. I think it's fine, and I think it's kind of cool of people to do. And I, I, I try not to enter those. Let somebody else win. And but I'll tell you what. Maybe I will do that. Maybe when I get to 200 subs, the winner will get a Lou Melnati's pizza sent to their house from Mr. and Mrs. Bodine 52. All right, I said it, it's on tape. I'm gonna have to do it now. So if you're interested in that, you can leave some comments, but I'll, uh, I'll talk a little bit about that more later. You know, it's funny, I, um, I was thinking about when I was coming out today, how bad traffic was gonna be coming back. I didn't care. By the way, pe um, pizza. Pizza and beer I'm thinking about now, right? Holy crap. Um, they have... Pennsylvania's odd because it's... They have, like, beer distributors. Um, 
you know, now you can get beer and gas stations and stuff. And, and the folks from PA, I've only lived here a year and a half, can help me better. PA Bearded Biker, maybe. But when I lived in PA years ago, I lived on the other side of the state. Um, you couldn't get beer other than in like a case. or And you had to go to a distributor. Or you could go in and buy it at a bar and take it out, believe it or not. And they charge you some ridiculous amount. Um, so, but it is weird. I got pizza on the brain. Not good. Not good. I tell you, ability to uh, to really ride your motorcycle at slow speeds is um, is something we should practice. As a matter of fact, I was just watching D Best One A do a video where he was working on his uh, his turns in a parking lot um, and I just thought about what a great idea that really is and I need to do that so all right folks that's it for me for today let me know what you think about your favorite go-to place and what is the best pizza that you've ever had and uh, how passionate are you about it that yours is the best because I don't think it is unless you say Lou Malnati's all right folks that's it folks that's it 1452. I am out of here. Please be safe on and off the motorcycle. Bye-bye, folks.